Hi. Let's, this topic is called Let's Talk Interview. I have not worked at Toyota. Let's check out. We've been talking about the present perfect in the, neg in the affirmative, and now we're going to look at it in the negative. Remember that the present perfect means before now. It relates an action that has happened in the past to the present. And we can look at some examples of how we use it in the negative. We can it, we use it when we're talking about something that has happened or hap, hap, that is in the process of happening in the negative, in the past. Something that is not yet finished. Pu Toyota Public Relations has not, yet, has not issued a statement yet. The word yet tells us that it's not, that they have not done it yet. They may do it in the future, but they have not done it yet. To, example number two is to give recent news in the negative. We have not called any applicants back already. Number three, something that has started in the past and not yet finished, but does not have a sure specific time of when it started or how long it went on for. The economy has not completely recovered from the crash. We know that the, com the economy has not completely recovered. It's recovering, but it has not completely finished yet. Next, we have number four, when we use the words for and since, cigarette laws have not changed for years. Let's look at how we form the negative present perfect. It's similar to the, to the affirmative present perfect. We just add that, that keyword not that tells us that our sentence is in the negative. We take the subject, the present verb, the present conjugation of the verb to have, add not to make it negative, and then the past participle of the verb that we are using. So these sentences on the left are going to become, these sentences on the left in, present, in the present simple are going to become sentences in the present perfect, in the negative, on the right. I don't work for Toyota becomes I have not, because we take have, the present form of, ha of have for I, add not, and the, pa the past participle of work for, I have, and that becomes, I have not worked for Toyota. But a lot of times in English, we shorten using have not, and we say simply haven't, which we'll see written here. I haven't worked for Toyota. Next we take, we don't call back any applicants. We have not called back any applicants. Have not, again in this sentence, becomes haven't. We haven't called back any applicants. The economy didn't recover from the crash. The economy has. Remember that we have to use the word has because that is how we conjugate to have for the first person, for the third person singular, which is the economy, has not recovered from the crash. And like we have not, has not become hasn't. Cigarette laws don't change for years. Cigarette laws have not changed for years. And in the negative present perfect, that becomes cigarette laws haven't changed for years. Don't forget that have that has not becomes hasn't, and have not becomes haven't. Let's look at how we might hear this used in an, in an interview. Perhaps if you're going to go interview at the competition company like Volkswagen, you might want to say these phrases if they're true for you. I haven't worked for Toyota, I haven't made problematic cars, I haven't wasted lots of money, and I haven't caused my company to lose money. What one CEO of Volkswagen said to another, they're so happy about it. I love you. Not as much as I love you. Just a quick recap. This, when we look at the way we form the negative present perfect, we take the subject, add the present sense of the verb to have, with not to make it negative and the past participle of the of the verb we are using. Don't forget that he, she, and it, the third person singular, conjugate differently than the rest, I, you, we, and they. And here on the right, I've added some irregular verbs that I think you will find very useful because they are verbs that you don't often see or that, that are don't follow the same rules that you would think would follow when you hear them. So pay close attention to them and memorize them because they'll be very useful for you in your future use of English. Hope you enjoyed that this chapter and this topic specifically. Stay tuned for our next chapter. See you next time. Bye-bye.